Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. And I know it has been like a week, no, almost two weeks since I last filmed, but you know, life happened. I have children, um, they got sick, and you know how things go if you have children when they get sick. But now I'm back with another video for you guys. I love doing foundation reviews. So I'm, today I'm going to be doing a review on the new Milani um, Screen Queen Foundation. This is a foundation right here. It's a nice packaging and of course um, it has a pump. I feel like all foundations now have pumps with them. So I'm going to be doing a first impression with you guys. I know even though this is not full coverage, supposed to be really good what I've heard on other people's reviews so this is what I'm going to be trying out for you guys today and I don't have any makeup on my face besides my eyebrows um, a little bit of glitter on my eyes and my eyelashes and some lip gloss so if you guys want to see if I like this foundation or not then keep on watching so I'm going to zoom you guys up close and personal as always so I'm going to read what the claims are on this foundation okay the um, color that I got is 330 Golden Bisque. I got it online, so hopefully um, it's my color. Um, my Walmart, I feel like my Walmart always carries stuff last, and my Walgreens um, were always last to get everything. So I ordered it online, so hopefully it's my shade. Um, not sponsored, so I don't have like a million colors to like choose from. I bought this with my own money. So, you know, sometimes it can get expensive if you buy three foundations just to get your right shade. And I always, I hate returning stuff, you guys. I just hate returning stuff. So, um, I just always hope that it's my shade. Lately, I've been really on point with him. So, we'll see. Okay, so let's get on to the claims. I'm just going to read what the back says. It's a luminous natural skin finish, a buildable light to medium coverage, and it's long wear. So, I don't know if it says it's for all skin tones. I'll leave it, I'll leave everything down below in the description bar if it's for all skin tones, like um, oily skin. Because I'm combination to oily, I get some dry spots on my face. So, uh, we'll see. This is vegan and cruelty free, which is always nice because I don't know if you guys know this. I don't think I've told you guys. So, like on New Year's Day. I had an allergic reaction. I don't know if it was a concealer that I was wearing, like all on my eyes, around my eyes. They were so itchy and I got hives everywhere. And it's been doing that too with certain eyeshadows that I wear. And it's a certain uh, a brand that I wear and it makes me really sad because I love that brand. So I don't know if that's what it is or if it's the um, actual base that I put on before the eyeshadow. So I'm gonna do like an allergy test and find out what I'm allergic to hopefully it's not the eyeshadows or like the my concealers that I wear that are my favorite so you know friendly so this and then I'm gonna do realistic um stuff on my skin like I'm gonna use primer I'm gonna use this new primer and it's like everything that I'm using is like contradicting to my oily skin but hopefully I look very nice and luminous and not like a grease spot so I'm gonna use um so I'm going to go ahead and use this Wet n Wild Primer. This is a primer serum, and it's a new one. And this one is hydrating. It has, like, kind of shimmers in it, if you guys can see. Close. So, hopefully, I don't look like a grease spot. But I've been hearing a lot of good things about this primer. So let's just going to go ahead and try it out. And you guys can tell my voice. I, feel, I have a little, I have muckles. Okay. I do have muckles from my kids. Cause you know, when you have kids, they get you sick. Um, and this primer feels very nice. It feels like kind of watery, but not like in a bad way watery. It doesn't feel like greasy. It feels nice. Wow. And you guys know Wet n Wild is my gem and I love their stuff. I want to try their foundation too. I haven't got that yet. Let me let me know if you guys want me to try that dewy one. Yeah, that feels very good on the skin. I'm surprised. My skin doesn't look bad. It looks nice, like luminous. I like a grease ball. And don't mind my hair. I just put it up in a chongo, in a bun. And it's a little frizzy, you know, but I just wanted to put it up today. 
and take two pumps and it's like a thicker coverage which makes me excited because normally I feel like foundations that are like light coverage don't feel that thick. I'm just going to dot it on and it doesn't look bad like it might fit my skin. And then of course I'm going to blend it out with my e.l.f. body sponge and then the foundation in the back of my hand I like to pick it up with the sponge and then just directly put it on my face. And it doesn't have like a smell or anything, which is nice. The coverage actually looks really good. I am surprised. It doesn't feel like it's a light coverage. Can you guys see how it covered? Like my blemishes? Hmm. I'm not complaining. I like it, you know. I like that. I like when foundations cover my blemishes. Okay, so I do feel like this is my shade. It looks like it matches pretty good, so I did a good job. I don't feel like it's like off or anything. Show you guys like with two pumps and I mean you can still see my blemishes, but they're not like red and peeking out. They're like there. But it looks very good and it's only two pumps so I'm surprised because it's a light to medium coverage and I feel like it's more of a medium coverage than a light. And if I add another pump I feel like it would be more full coverage. So let me just add a half a pump. So I'm just not even a half just a little bit like that. And then I'm just gonna put it in the problem areas like on my cheek right here. It did cover a little more. So this foundation is really nice, you guys. And with the primer, I feel like it didn't leave me looking oily. So it looks really good. It looks really good on the skin, which I am really surprised because you guys know that I love my full coverage. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the rest of my makeup on and then I'll be back to show you guys the rest of my skin to see how it held up. Okay guys, so this is the final look. This is how it looked with all my makeup on. And you guys, I am like so surprised. Like look at how good my skin looks. It just looks like it's very natural. It doesn't look cakey, right? It looks really nice. So the test will be if it will wear throughout the day with my oily skin. So what I'll do, I'll let you guys know in the description bar below how long it lasted and how long it looked really good. Like, I'm so surprised. Can you guys see? And like, it does match me really good. So I got the right shade. If you guys think not, let me know. But look at how good it looks, you guys. Don't mind my hair back there. Ugh gross but wow I'm so surprised of just how gorgeous it looks because it says it's a light to medium coverage and it turned out to be like super nice I like it but you guys let me know your thoughts let me know if you guys tried it if you guys loved it if you guys hated it but this concludes this video thank you guys so much for always watching and always supporting me and I will see you guys on the next one bye